in, the, in terms of market capitalization, if you look only 10 years back, you know, in the top 10 companies in the world, you only had Microsoft somewhere placed five or six, all the rest was traditional, yeah, energy and this and the other. And today, the first six, seven, eight are American or Chinese platforms, if you want. Yeah? This has been good and bad at the same time. Uh, and we bureaucrats always look at the bad side of things, probably. It's not entirely true. But anyway, I mean, this has brought, as we all know, this has empowered the consumer. It has also empowered businesses. I mean, we should not forget that all these SMEs that I mentioned, without platforms, they would not have been able to reach so many other markets. Yeah, if you're an SME in Austria, Austrian, uh, how would you possibly sell to 10 other member states? But if you can jump on a platform, that helps you. So we saw a lot of growth for the consumer, for the, for the business. But what we see now is mainly sort of we're afraid that the markets themselves are at risk. Yeah? We no longer protect only consumers and, and the, all the usual stuff, but now we're trying to take a step back and say, hey, listen, what's going on here? Uh, how markets are evolving, uh, how big internet platforms in particular are shaping the world that we knew before, how they create markets for us. I mean, in the past, we were regulating markets ourselves in a way. A market was a very general concept, uh, and we tried to have some framework conditions. Now it is in some seg segments uh, of the economy. It is private, huge companies that establish the markets, that set the rules of the game for those markets, and that even compete themselves on these markets. Yeah?